the French Academy of Sciences French, Académie des Sciences is a learned society, founded in 1666 by Louis XIV at the suggestion of Jean-Baptiste Colbert, to encourage and protect the spirit of French scientific research. It was at the forefront of scientific developments in Europe in the 17th and 18th centuries, and is one of the earliest academies of sciences. Currently headed by Shebastian Candle, President of the Academy, it is one of the five academies of the Institut de France. History The Academy of Sciences traces its origin to Colbert's plan to create a general academy. He chose a small group of scholars who met on the 22nd of December 1666 in the King's Library, and thereafter held twice weekly working meetings there. The first thirty years of the Academy's existence were relatively informal, since no statutes had as yet been laid down for the institution. In contrast to its British counterpart, the Academy was founded as an organ of government. The Academy was expected to remain apolitical, and to avoid discussion of religious and social issues Connor, 2005, p. 385. On 20 January 1699, Louis XIV gave the company its first rules. The Academy received the name of Royal Academy of Sciences and was installed in the Louvre in Paris. Following this reform, the Academy began publishing a volume each year with information on all the work done by its members and obituaries for members who had died. This reform also codified the method by which members of the Academy could receive pensions for their work. On 8 August 1793, the National Convention abolished all the Academies. On the 22nd of August 1795, a National Institute of Sciences and Arts was put in place, bringing together the old academies of the sciences, literature and arts, among them the Académie Française and the Académie des Sciences. Almost all the old members of the previously abolished academy were formally re-elected and retook their ancient seats. Among the exceptions was Dominique, Comte de Cassini, who refused to take his seat. Membership in the Academy was not restricted to scientists. In 1798, Napoleon Bonaparte was elected a member of the Academy and three years later a president in connection with his Egyptian expedition, which had a scientific component. In 1816, the again renamed Royal Academy of Sciences became autonomous, while forming part of the Institute of France, the head of state became its patron. In the Second Republic, the name returned to Académie des Sciences. During this period, the Academy was funded by and accountable to the Ministry of Public Instruction. The Academy came to control French patent laws in the course of the 18th century, acting as the liaison of artisans' knowledge to the public domain. As a result, academicians dominated technological activities in France Connor, 2005, p. 385. The Academy proceedings were published under the name Comptes Rendus de l'Académie des Sciences The Comptes Rendus is now a journal series with seven titles. The publications can be found on site of the French National Library. 
In 1818 the French Academy of Sciences launched a competition to explain the properties of light. The civil engineer Augustin Jean Fresnel entered this competition by submitting a new wave theory of light. Simeon Denis Poisson, one of the members of the judging committee, studied Fresnel's theory in detail. Being a supporter of the particle theory of light, he looked for a way to disprove it. Poisson thought that he had found a flaw when he demonstrated that Fresnel's theory predicts that an on-axis bright spot would exist in the shadow of a circular obstacle, where there should be complete darkness according to the particle theory of light. The Poisson spot is not easily observed in everyday situations, so it was only natural for Poisson to interpret it as an absurd result and that it should disprove Fresnel's theory. However, the head of the committee, Dominique Francois Jean Arago, and who incidentally later became Prime Minister of France, decided to perform the experiment in more detail. He molded a 2 mm metallic disc to a glass plate with wax. To everyone's surprise he succeeded in observing the predicted spot, which convinced most scientists of the wave nature of light. For three centuries women were not allowed as members of the Academy. This meant that many women scientists were excluded, including two-time Nobel Prize winner Marie Curie, Nobel winner Irene Joliot-Curie, mathematician Sophie Germain, and many other deserving women scientists. The first woman admitted as a correspondent member was a student of Curie's, Marguerite Perret, in 1962. The first female full member was Yvonne Choke Bruhat in 1979. The Academy today Today the Academy is one of five academies comprising the Institut de France. Its members are elected for life. Currently there are 150 full members, 300 corresponding members, and 120 foreign associates. They are divided into two scientific groups, the mathematical and physical sciences and their applications and the chemical, biological, geological and medical sciences and their applications. Topic: Medals, awards, and prizes. Each year, the Academy of Sciences distributes about 80 prizes. These include the Grande Medaille, awarded annually in rotation in the relevant disciplines of each division of the Academy to a French or foreign scholar who has contributed to the development of science in a decisive way. The Lalande Prize, awarded from 1802 through 1970, for outstanding achievement in astronomy, the Valls Prize, awarded from 1877 through 1970, to honor advances in astronomy, the Richard Lounsbury Award, jointly with the National Academy of Sciences The Prix Jacques Herbrand, for mathematics and physics The Prix Paul Pascal, for chemistry The Louis Bachelier Prize for major contributions to mathematical modeling in finance the Prix Michel Montpetit for Computer Science and Applied Mathematics, awarded since 1977. The Le Cante Prize, awarded annually since 1886, to recognize important discoveries in mathematics, physics, chemistry, natural history or medicine. 
Topic: People of the Academy. The following are incomplete lists of the officers of the Academy. See also category Officers of the French Academy of Sciences. For a list of the Academy's members past and present, see category Members of the French Academy of Sciences. Topic Presidents. Source French Academy of Sciences. Topic Treasurers. Minus 1788 Georges Louis Leclerc, Comte de Buffon 1788 1791 Mathieu Tillet <laughs> Permanent secretaries Mathematical sciences Topic Physical sciences Topic Chemistry and biology Topic See also French art salons and academies, French geodesic mission, History of the meter, Seconds pendulum, Category Membre de l'Académie des Sciences, France. Equals equals notes.